Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. You're watching South Asia Newsline and here are the top stories we are tracking for you on Tuesday, the 30th of January. Indian President Murmu, PM Modi, pay tributes to Mahatma Gandhi on his death anniversary. Indian Navy warship rescues 19 Pakistani nationals, fishing vessel hijacked by Somali pirates. And former Pakistan PM Imran Khan gets 10-year jail term in cipher case. And now for all the details. Indian President Draupadi Murmu on Tuesday led the nation in paying homage to the country's freedom movement leader Mahatma Gandhi at his memorial Rajkhat on the occasion of his 76th death anniversary. She was joined by Vice President Jagdeep Dhankar, Prime Minister Narendra Modi, Defence Minister Rajnath Singh and other senior officials who followed the Indian President in paying floral tribute at Gandhi's memorial. In a post on X, the Prime Minister said, The sacrifice of Gandhi along with all those who have been martyred for the nation will inspire them to serve the people and fulfil their vision for the country. India observes Martyrs Day every year on January 30 to mark the death anniversary of Mahatma Gandhi and to honour his contribution towards the freedom of the country. On January 30, 1948, Mahatma Gandhi was assassinated by Nathuram Godse at Gandhi Smriti in Birla's house months after India's independence. In a second rescue operation within hours, the Indian Navy on Tuesday rescued an Iranian-flagged fishing vessel Al Naimi from Somali pirates along the east coast of Somalia and Gulf of Aden. In a statement, the Indian Navy said its warship INS Sumitra intercepted the distressed vessel and pressed into action to locate the fishing vessel, which had been boarded by Somali pirates. The warship acted in accordance with the established SOPs to coerce the pirates of the safe release of the crew along with the boat and ensured successful release of all 19 crew members of Pakistani nationality along with the boat, the statement said. Earlier on Saturday, the Indian Navy conducted a similar operation, rescuing 17 Iranian nationals on board FV Iman from Somali pirates. The Indian Navy has enhanced the deployment of assets for maritime security operations following weeks of multiple attacks on merchant vessels in the critical sea lanes including in the North and Central Arabian Sea. In a major blow to former Prime Minister Imran Khan, a Pakistani court on Tuesday handed Khan's and his aide Shah Mahmood Qureshi a 10-year jail term for leaking state secrets, the former Premier's media team has informed. The case pertains to allegations that Khan had made public the contents of a secret cable sent by the country's ambassador in Washington to the government in Islamabad, which he claimed was the proof of his allegation that the Pakistani military and US government toppled his government in 2022. The Tuesday judgment is the second conviction for the impaddled former cricket star in recent months. Khan, who has been facing dozens of cases since his fallout with the military, was previously sentenced to three years in a corruption case. While his jail term was suspended as he challenged the corruption conviction, it had already ruled him out of the country's general election, scheduled next week. In a major attack, separatist outfit BLA launched an attack on a government installation in much area of Balochistan. The group has claimed killing at least 45 security officials and seizure of multiple railway stations in the region. The separatist outfit Balochistan Liberation Army on Monday launched coordinated attacks on key government installations in MAC and Bolan regions of Balochistan, the Balochistan Post has reported. Coding spokesperson of the band Outfit, the media portal said the outfit have seized control of multiple railway stations while being engaged in combat at various locations. Several videos were also making rounds on social media, indicating that BLA has taken police and paramilitary personnel hostages. The band Outfit has also claimed it has killed 45 personnel so far. At least 45 personnel of the Pakistani military have so far been eliminated during the BLA's operation. The dead bodies of the killed troops are under our custody. 
spokesperson of the outfit Jiant Baloch was quoted as saying. However, Balochistan government has claimed so far only two people have been killed in BLA's offensive action. In past few years, there has been rise in militant activities in Balochistan, particularly by Balochistan Liberation Army, which seeks complete independence for Balochistan. They claim their action against Pakistan military is to reveal their true face as they're involved in inflicting brutalities on innocent Baloch civilians by abducting and killing them in custody. Nepal's Prime Minister Pushpa Kamal Dehel and his ministers on the occasion of Martyrs Day paid tributes to the martyrs on Tuesday. Dehel laid a wreath at the memorial and offered tributes to the known and unknown martyrs. Nepal President Ramchandra Podale said respect for martyrs would be realized only when the spirit of the constitution and the republic were embraced by initiatives were taken for translating aspirations for sustainable peace, good governance, development and prosperity into action. Since 2012, under the coordination of the then Kathmandu municipality, the day in memory of the martyrs has been celebrated on January 30 every year. With sun setting down over the Raisena hills, the historic Vijay Chowk in the national capital came live to foot-tapping tunes and synchronized steps by members of armed forces during the beating retreat ceremony on Monday, marking the end of Republic Day celebrations. The event, which began with the mass band Shanknad, witnessed music bands of Indian Army, Indian Navy, Indian Air Force, along with combined band of CAPF playing captivating tunes before a distinguished audience including President Draupadi Murmu, Vice President Jagdeep Dhankar, Prime Minister Narendra Modi and other Union Ministers. The ceremony, which has been a part of Republic Day celebrations since 1955, traces its origin to the early 1950s when Major Roberts of the Indian Army indigenously developed the unique ceremony of display by the mass bands. It marks a centuries-old military tradition when the troops cease fighting, sheath their arms, withdrew from the battlefield and returned to the camps at sunset at the sounding of the retreat. That's all in tonight's edition. We will see you same time tomorrow. Good night. Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India.